Yunnan's nature and its people's evolution are absolutely far away from us. In the early period of humanity's origin, the ancients left many traces here in Yunnan. The Yanmo ape, which dates from 1,700,000 years back, is the most ancient human found in China. And the Tsangyuan rock painting, more than 3,000 years old, is one of the earliest artistic treasures. In the Qin Dynasty, 220 BC, Yunnan became one of the passages that China communicated outwards and was one of the most important silk roads in the south of China. At that time, silk, china, tea, and other goods were transported to Southeast Asia, South Asia, and some Middle East nations by horses via Yunnan, and so that it is called the famous Chama Road. Den Street of Jianchuan Shangxi Temple is one famous guest house of the Chama Road. And the stone cave of Jianchuan Shirbao Shan Mountain has a history of more than 1,000 years. Dali Ancient City, a famous water village full of ancient documents, is in the Bai People's Autonomous County. It was once the capital of the great Nanjiao Kingdom and the Dali Kingdom. Jianshui City and its huge and ancient architectural clusters are the living fossils of modern Yunnan culture. The ancient city of Lijian, located at the foot of the Snow Mountain, is a water city in the center of the Nashi People's Autonomous County. The people here use pictographic language and follow a religion called Dongba. The Confucian Temple in Jianshui is the second biggest in China and is in good condition. Heijing ancient town is the historical witness of recent salt culture and commercial culture here in Yunnan. Tengchang Hushan village is a famous immigrant village in China and boasts the biggest folk library in the nation. Wenshan Bame village is a beautiful pastoral landscape which can only be seen in Taoyuan Ming's poem. Dali Xinhua village, a Bai people's village, is famous for its handicrafts. The Yuanyan Terraces are a masterpiece of mind and will. They are the product of the Hani people's hard work and wisdom.